We're here with Judy Crosby from Island Books. Hi, Judy. Hi, Joe. How are you? I'm great. Uh, thanks so much for taking some time, well, and uh, I appreciate it. Always, always good to see you again. Yeah. So as you know, I'm going to ask you a few questions, and you can answer or not answer in any way that you like. Okay. Okay. So we take polite society, throw it out the window. Okay. How old are you? <laughs> I'll be 52 this month. Okay. And do you have a political orientation? I'm a Democrat. And how about religion or religious affiliation? Um, no religion or affiliation. Okay. And your job titles? Uh, titles. Well, I'm, I own Island Books, and so I'm the buyer and the manager and uh, the bathroom cleaner. And Well, I don't take the garbage out. My husband does that. Okay. And you have another role in New England as well? Right. I'm the president currently of the New England Independent Booksellers Association. And one more, I believe, right? Um, oh, with, uh, with Link. Well, I'm uh, one of the co-founders of Link, the local independents of Newport County. Um, an independent business alliance here in the area. And your spare time? <laughs> <laughs> Not very much. I don't have too much spare time. Then. Of course. Yeah. Can you talk about your role mm -hmm. and how you see it in the community? Um, here in the community, um, well, let's see, how do I see myself here in the community? Um, as an independent business owner and um, a bookseller, um, I feel like I help people get the information that they need and, um, you know, find good books. And I think we're a good um, uh, community gathering place. Um, and just I like to consider myself a member of the community. For a long time I wasn't because I worked outside of the community, so I'm happy to, to be part of it. Great. And can you talk about your relationship with the local independent community here in Newport County? Um, I think I have a pretty good relationship. I, you know, I really have always tried to buy local and hire local and um, just consider all local aspects, you know, think local first and all that. Um, and we have, I have done a variety of things over the years to try to get the local uh, community, um, you know, the business community together. Um, with some success, you know, everybody's so busy. Um, when I first opened my store, we didn't have all the chains and big box stores that we do here now, and now we have just about everything um, imaginable here, and I feel like we'll sink the island one of these days if we're not careful, but... Great. Yeah. This is the one I wouldn't tell you about. Okay. If the local independent community in Newport County oh. were an animal, ah. what animal would it be and why? Oh, my goodness. Um, well... Since I just have a new bookstore, Beagle, maybe maybe they would maybe she, we would be a Beagle, very friendly um, and loyal, um, outgoing, sometimes loud and boisterous when we um, have a point to get across, um, hungry in wanting to a, be able to um, educate our community and see um, see it thrive and grow and yeah yeah. That's probably it. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. You're Bonnie. Yeah, Bonnie. My Bonnie Beagle. Yeah. Can you talk about a time... Actually, no, I'm sorry. We're going to ask you a different third mm -hmm. question. Okay. What got you interested in and motivated you to, with all the things that you do mm -hmm. already mm -hmm. to dedicate some of your time and energy to forming a network of independent businesses? Well, I just... Think that I just think that it's really important because so many of the nice uh, stores and local businesses have gone away because of the influx of the larger chain stores and big box stores. And I just think it's really important to do business with your neighbors and to keep the um, economy, uh, the local economy growing. And I think that it really does add to a sense of community to be able to go in and know who you're doing business with. You know, I have... You know, I, I have kids that come in as infants, and then they're learning to read, and then they're, you know, in high school, and, you know, they're even going off to college now and come back, so. Great. Okay. Two more. Okay. In your life experiences as an organizer and an entrepreneur, you've probably learned many things. Mm hmm What one piece of advice or lesson learned could you share with anyone who might see this? In terms of... Um, organizing? Well, I, I guess whatever you think is most yeah. important for people yeah. to hear. Well, um, you know, to put your money where your mouth is, you know, and all those cliches, and really um, um, do what you're advocating that other people do, and that it's not going to happen overnight. And so one of sometimes one of my faults is I want things to happen right away, and so then the rate of burnout could, you know, um, be pretty high if you're expecting overnight success and results. And fortunately, I'm teamed up with two great people, Lisa Harrison in uh, Newport. She owns the store only in Rhode Island. 
and um, John Wood, who you're going to visit next at the Green Grocer, and both of them, you know, um, kind of keep me on an even keel that way because they're like, no, we're doing great, we're making great progress. Whereas I think that you know, we want I want to have 100 members and this and that. You know. So overnight. building on building on that just a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, what you're what you're describing sounds to me like support. Uh huh. And so, yes, absolutely. you know, something I've heard a lot, and uh, in most of the interviews that I've done is, mm -hmm. you know, about the type of support that business owners get from other business owners. Right. Can you just speak to that for a minute? Well, I know that I've ha I've gotten a lot of support from well from those two and from other business owners. Um, in that, a lot around here, we really do support one another and. Um, uh, refer customers to each other and use each other's services. Is that what you mean? Yeah, I mean that, and then you know, I mean, it sounds like you're 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 gaining some level of like emotional support from them right. as well. Oh, sure, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, last question. Okay. If you had one message, mm -hmm. um, you know what I'm up to here and, uh -huh. and what we're trying to accomplish by by sort of spreading this out. What message would that be? I'll ask you to talk to the camera. Okay, what message would that be? Um, let's see, talk to the camera. Um, I guess the message that I would say is just to pace yourself and to um, keep working and get as much support, join other networks, um, um, look at other people's websites, join Bally, join Amoeba. Those are things that we... Um, um, haven't had an opportunity to do yet because we don't really have um, the funds, but um, I get a lot of support from the New England Independent Booksellers Association as well um, and their education. Um, uh, I guess that's probably all I can say. <laughs>